Malaysia 2015. The girls presented. are now ready for their second challenge. It'll feature a Maserati car against a backdrop of amazing KL architecture. The photographer will be resident photographer Alex Yo Yo. The girls only have 15 frames to nail the perfect shot. They have to work with their edgy clothing and the beautiful Maserati car and make sure one does not overshadow the other. Mm -hmm. And the girl who performs the best will be chosen by New York magazine and will win the title Miss Photogenic Model. Let's go see how they're doing. Start to shoot now. Oh my god! <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> Don't cry, make up. <laughs> Hello there. So today is a Maserati car photo shoot, and I am so grateful to have my brother here with me. I didn't know it was a surprise because they were telling us to stay away from the car, to stay away from the car. I was like wondering, why can't we look into the car? But it didn't ring to my mind at all. So when I was walking closer and I saw some male model inside, I thought like, oh, today we're going to do a shoot with the male model. And I looked even closer, I had an instinct like, is that my brother? And when he opened the door, it is my brother. And I'm so grateful and I'm so happy to have somebody so close to me to be here today with me in the shoot. He's a very good model, but <laughs> depends on myself here. I don't think if, if he's good and I'm not good, it's not going to work. We have to be both good and we'll put on our best effort. So we hope for the best and thank you for coming here. It's <laughs> surprising. One, two, three. Oh, that's beautiful. to pose with a car to have photo shoot here in Putrajaya and I think I had a little difficult time here because this is my first time to pose with a car to take picture with a car however the photographer Alex was very helpful he taught me how to pose how to find my best angle for the car and I think overall it was quite fun and I hope my picture turned out good <laughs> with Maserati today and it's really exciting because it's actually my first time photo shooting with a car something else and we had to interact with the car you have to feel the car and you know enjoy the sun so I'm wearing something really high-end fashion today with a special blazer I think the colors um, matches well with the car and I did my best I hope the photos turn out well So today I got to pose with the Maserati. I've never touched a car like this before. Today was the first time. So obviously was really, really careful. Didn't want to get any scratches, no marks. I'd probably be paying back for the rest of my life. Anyway, so we had a photo shoot. We had to pose with the car. Um, today I felt my performance wasn't as good as I could have done. I didn't give quite a lot of angles. I was really stiff, but definitely, definitely a lot of room for improvement. 
So hopefully um, next time round when we have a photo shoot, I'll definitely improve. But it was an amazing experience. The photographer was marvelous. And yet again, I got to pose with a fabulous car. What else could I ask for? Um, fashion shoot is about high fashions and how do you strike a pose with a car and seduce with a car because it's like this car is like high end and high class car right so you have to be really firm and be really very sure with your pose and it's like uh, the pose is like you need to be like enjoying with a car and <laughs> like enjoying with your pose, with the weather and oh yeah, the weather. Oh my god, the weather is so hot. Can't believe that. Overall, I think the performance for this challenge is better. Some of them are actually good while posing with the car and some of them still struggle a bit, but I think this time the girls really did their best, although they only have 15 frames and yeah, they're good this time. Hello girls and welcome to Marini's on 57. It's a beautiful day outside, the sun is shining and we've got the view of Kale right outside. But today, you are not here to attend a party. Today is yet another elimination. That's right. You girls know that every move you make will be scrutinized and will be judged upon. So, your performance yesterday at the shoot with the Maserati car will be taken into account whether you stay or whether you leave today during elimination. Say hello to our resident judges, Peter Davis, MMA fighter, celebrity, model, and actor. Good morning. Dr. Yasmin Yusuf, Miss Malaysia Universe 1978. Hi guys. Carrie Ung, National Director of Miss Universe Malaysia and Miss Universe Malaysia 2013. Seema Viswanathan, Editor-in-Chief of Female Magazine. And joining our lovely panel of judges today is Suk Ching, Editor-in-Chief of New York Magazine. Yes. Girls, we now leave you to the judges. So today, we're going to have one-on-one -on -one, and we will be reviewing your photos. First up, Jenny. Okay, Jenny, um, first of all, your picture is, uh, is very nice. The composition is uh, very good. Uh, what I think we thought you did well was uh, you used your surroundings uh, and you used the uh, jacket as well. Next we have Kuhino. Um, you you have such a beautiful face, Kuhino, but the photograph was terrible. Okay, it's all over the place. You were not focusing. You need to focus on every inch of your body when you're posing for a photograph. Everything from your toes right to your nose. Okay, really need to work on the picture. Next, we have Shalina. And I was actually pretty disappointed. You've got amazing assets to show up. And, mm -hmm. You know, great, great car, great surrounding. I just felt like it was a, a bit disappointing that you didn't use all of those to your advantage. April. I was quite surprised by a photograph because from what we've seen of you, you're quite a you seem like a quiet girl, you seem like a very timid girl, but you came on very strong in your photograph. The only thing I didn't like about it were your legs. I felt like your legs were bowed behind and your ankles were not strong. They were sort of moving in towards each other, which is not a very confident pose at all. Okay, we have Shalini. You look a little bit tense here, so I'm not sure whether it's showing on the face or it's your attempt at posing. But uh, I just wish you could show a little bit more confidence. Yeah. So, so, see you next time. Mira? Okay, hi Mira. Um, in your shoot, you, you're posing, uh, you're, you're a very tall girl, and because of that, you have a very slim figure, so you need to create some shapes, and that's something that was lacking. You were very straight in the picture. Hi Kelly. Yeah. Um, I like your pose, I like the look. 
but I still felt that you distanced yourself from the actual scenery, the car. Uh, you didn't make yourself part of the picture, uh, but, but I liked it. I thought it was good. Vanessa, you stunned all of us, you know, with that dangerous look that you had looking backwards. <laughs> and I think we saw another side of you, nice. you know, other than this sweet nature girl that we see in front of you. you Hi, Pauline. This photograph really brought out your face. Um, I would have worked on the legs. You don't have the best legs of the group. Um, so I would have made them look longer, leaner, skinnier, maybe a little bit. But otherwise, not a bad photograph at all. Thank you. Gloria, you've got um, strong features, great proportion, and you seem to be looking very well with the camera. So I, I like the picture here. Yeah? about that? Next up, we have Sukita. Uh, your facial expression is... It's, it's, it's nice, it's very suitable for the pictures. Sexy without being too sexy, so. Yes. Thank you. We have Jasper. Jasper, you amazed us. It's a stunning photograph. You look about six feet tall. You have, what a lot of the girls didn't do, is you moved your shoulders forward. You didn't sink back and lose yourself. You made sure that you were in control and that you were in the forefront of the picture, even with the male model and the car and the bridge and everything. Last, we have Ashley. You could have placed your legs a little better. You don't have the, the most slender thighs, and I think you need to be very conscious about that. And um, I think that it can be, it looks a little bit too cozy for mm -hmm. me, but in general, mm -hmm. I think like your face looks amazing. Um, but it's not one of your best photos. I think you could do better. Yeah. Thank you. But I don't like her legs. I don't like how she's yeah. posed her and legs. She looks like she's frowning into yeah. the sun. She's boring. Her shoulders are too far forward. Because she's small? Yes. She needs to stretch the body out. She doesn't look like she owns the car. She looks like the car is parked in the parking lot and, and she's she just walking is. right past. Girls whose name I call, please step forward. Sugita, April, Pauline, Vanessa, Jesvir, Jenny, Kelly. All of you are safe. While six of you are remaining, we do have a surprise for you. Today in this challenge, we have an award to give out, which is the Best Model Award to the girl with the best photo. The Best Model Award goes to Gloria. Congratulations. Congratulations, Gloria. Congratulations. Good job. It's well done. Now, five of you have the lowest score. You either didn't perform as well as the others or just didn't perform at all. So now, we will be giving you five a chance to fight, to stay. So Shalina, this is your chance. Um, I think that I don't have bad habits picked up from other pageants, which is also a very good thing because I can only learn what's um, you know good. Um, I've grown a lot, I've learned a lot in my time here so far. I can only improve from now and I'm hoping to see the potential I have. Thank you, Shalina. Coming to this pageant is really a milestone in my life and I really want to inspire people to be an influence to the younger generation that, uh, that sharing of humanity is possible because I myself come from a very from a multilingual, multicultural and multi-religious family. I do believe that I deserve another chance to show myself how great I can perform or to the best that I can perform. And I may have fell backwards because, like I said, I wanted to do this. Maybe some of you may say I could have put more preparation into it, but we have daily life routines, we have circumstances, and with the short time spent I had for my finals till now, I really have a time to Thank you. I believe I should stay because I want to be the next Miss Universe in Asia. 
and this is because I have the strength to change myself and live and grow. I deserve to remain in this competition because just like my snake print dress that I'm wearing right now, a snake is deadly and powerful but they are, they are silent attackers and maybe that is why I kept getting comments such as my personality not shining through just as well as other girls and I take more time to warm up. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm very thankful today to have my judges with me so they would help me make this decision. And no matter what the decision is, I hope all of you will continue to grow. I feel that she could be so much more interesting, but I have not seen that. She may be a really charismatic person, but she has not shown that. That girl is Mira. I'm sorry. Um, I feel I respect the judges' decision. Um, they have told me why I was eliminated. It was because of my picture. It wasn't good enough. And I feel that I take the feedback and I definitely have room for improvement in terms of my picture. And I'm definitely going to come back stronger and even better. She's a very tall girl and she can therefore look very elegant. She's got good facial features. Um, she almost looked Brazilian the first day that we met her because of her skin tone. So she has a very international look. Uh, however, um, you know, in the photograph, it didn't come out. Maybe she wasn't so photogenic and in her last challenge and the profile pictures, uh, it wasn't as good as it could have been. Uh, and also, she doesn't quite have what it takes right now uh, to win this competition. So, I'm sorry, Shalini, you could please do I am not that photogenic, I believe, because I have not tried any modelling or anything. But then, this photo shoot was about being edgy and all sexy. I believe I delivered, but I'm not sure why the judges didn't see it that way. Shalini has not always been the strongest in the competition, and I think that coming to this point, she should be really proud of herself. Um, she's, she's gained a lot of confidence and I love her personality, but unfortunately, that's just really not enough. So, if you don't show a personality and you don't think you can handle it, then we have to say goodbye. So, it's goodbye to Ashley. I know that I could have given more to the photographer and there was one thing that I wasn't very happy about was that um, Carrie and the, the photographer were there and they were giving me very um, misleading comments. When I was posing, they were saying like, nice, nice, oh my god, this is good, I love it. So I, was, I thought I was doing good. <laughs> She didn't tell us why we should keep her. She told us she had a platform. But a beauty queen and a Miss Universe Malaysia should not just have a platform. She should be someone who can represent the country. Shalina, Kohinoor, well congratulations. You will still be competing in the pageant. Um, when I got picked for the bottom five, I was kind of expecting it. My performance wasn't good and if I was in the judges position, I would have placed myself there as well. I love Shalina, but I don't know whether she has the strength and confidence. You know, she's still a bit shaky. Shalina has a fantastic body and I really saw the body today when I saw her. But at the photo shoot, she really didn't shine. I believe what has kept me going is my determination. I think this time I was saved because I was able to communicate to the judges. Although she pulled through at the last minute with her, with her explanation of why she should be kept back, and actually that did help her a lot, I, I still believe that her attitude may be a little bit off. Koinok is going to get kicked out if she doesn't buck up. That girl really needs a smack on the head, actually.
The next Miss Universe Malaysia 2015 is presented to you by iPay Easy. Oh, 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 oh